Oh, it's not Halloween anymore. <sighs> Today we're gonna go ahead and film with the new nude palette from Huda Beauty. This is my first big palette from her. Oh yeah, she's gorgeous. Let's get her up close. I've already dabbled in her a little Cannot bit. Cannot wait to play with her for you guys. She is gorgeous. She's got different formulas in here. We have everything from matte, shimmer, glitter, and these new formula ones. They almost, this one, this one, this one, this one, you saw I touched me, this one. And they almost look like a gemstone to me, which is pretty um, miraculous actually but when you put them on they don't stay like that which is mind-blowing so let's jump right in i want to create a super glammed up look today um with her stuff i'm so excited um it's my first big pal from her she sent me a couple pals before and i still haven't been able to jump into those as much as i want to so expect to see me playing with a lot of the huda beauty stuff that's going on um I want to get familiar with her brand. I've been, always been so excited and so intrigued by what she has and what they're doing. Um, and her stuff is so bold and so different, but also so nude and natural, which is weird for me and out of the, out of my range, out of my realm. Um, but when I first saw this, the new nude. Do I do nudes? Generally, no. Doesn't mean I can't work with them. Doesn't mean I don't know what I'm doing. It just means it's not in my preference doesn't mean we can't do them though because you always need to know how to work nude for a holiday event a meeting anything of that sort but this is not your normal nude generally nudes are any very neutral tones there's no warm there's no cool but it's generally brown tones that will work for all skin ranges now this will work for all skin ranges but these are more of like a pinky purple tone to them which I'm super loving. You have your light colors for your bases. You have crease shades in here as well. And then you've got some darker ones. You have some pops of color if you want to use them, but they can be used anywhere if you want to. You can use them on the brow bone, the corner, the lid, uh, underneath um, your lower lash line. Um, so these will be super fun to play with. And I'm super excited to see what we're going to create today because generally when I sit down to do these, I don't have a thought theme or plan in my head I like to just sit down and like let's see what happens because sometimes my creative mind is better than my planned mind sometimes we just gotta let the creative mind do its thing so before we do anything else let's hop right in as you can see my base is already done anything you want to know about my base I will have down below in the description box I'm sorry I'm so itchy my cat was just rubbing all over me I kept telling her no mommy has makeup on Let's jump right in. We're gonna zoom you guys in so you can see all the details and everything that we're doing today. I want you guys to see up close in person what we're doing, but I really wanna do something intricate with this. I wanna do something fun and funky. I might add some liners to this. I might add some glitters to this. I really wanna make something super gorgeous with this because that is what her brand is about. Um, and plenty of other people are gonna do something basic. We don't do basic here. I don't wanna do, want do basic. I'm gonna do something fun and funky. So, and she's got too many pretty things not to touch the pretties. So anyways, let's zoom you guys in to get this going. Here's my eyeball. This is my favorite eyeball, if you guys did not know. Just going to put a little bit of concealer on my lid, just to prep it. I just pat it all over, and I take my finger and blend. Of our crease we're going to usually use two to three different shapes i'm going to start with this light color right here this color right here called lace Okay, Lise, I see you. 
I'm gonna buff her out just a little bit. I'm really loving this palette. It's new as it is, but look at the blend. Like, oh, I'm dying. This is just too easy. And I know I'm going in and really brushing over this, but do you see how easy this is? How gorgeous it looks. Even if I just walked out with this today, put a, popped a pat on the lid, some mascara, finished my face. Gorgeous. Freaking gorgeous. So, color number one is in. We did lace, which is purple looking in the palette but here it's looking more pinky to me so we've done we've done lace right here teasers right here and i think we'll eventually end up with love bite right up here i'm going in i wanted to try out these new luxy brushes do you see how tiny these are the tip of them are I am absolutely so excited, I mean, I'm so excited to try these out. We got these at Gem Beauty and I'm like, oh, these are like everybody's dream brushes. They're so tiny, tiny, tiny. So this is another first in this video. Even though we can't use all tiny brushes in this, I wanted to really focus on these little, these little bad boys here for the look. Oh. I found doing a pat motion when I do eyes it just seems to work. Sorry, we see you. These came to play, all right. All right, let's take an even smaller brush. Even smaller brush into that crease. Look, see, I'm loving these brushes. guys she looks amazing the blend is remarkable remarkable on this pretty thing oh which is a daydream so we're going to try and blend these over the lid and then we're going to deepen this corner over here but to help them pop and stick and all that um because what helps a little bit of any shimmer really pop or metallic is a glitter glue um that i found this little tip and trick Ooh -hoo. make sure you write this down take a mental note but nyx's nyx glitter glue is my go-to but I like to pop a little bit of this on here, even if you want to like cut your crease with it. It'll do the job. It helps the shimmers pop. It almost turns out like, not a metallic -y, but it just makes them bold and more refined, even more than doing a um, concealer. 
concealer I have found, which I really do love um, doing. And I like that bold look. And I've been seeing it everywhere. I'm like, what is everybody's tip and trick? And what I have found it is glitter glue, guys. Just plain and simple glitter glue, which most everybody has. So get out your glitter glue. And we're going to pat it on. You still want to make sure you go really carefully over the lid so you're kind of cutting this crease. And then we're going to put it all in. And, set. and when it dries, it doesn't look like it's real cut. It looks soft. It looks subtle. And it blends in so well. It, it, but it stays. You don't get these weird lines or anything like that. Just don't put tons of glue on. But it looks flawless and amazing. I absolutely love that end result. purple and over here which is all of white which is I have to say one of my my ultimate co favorite colors on here That melts out of tour. Just don't know what yet. <laughs> Let's do the bottom lash line here. I think we're gonna go in with T's. Cut that crease just to sharpen it up. Let me go and finish up this eye and we'll be back to finish up the face for you guys. Hey guys, we're back and both eyes are done. I think we're gonna add some things to it, but first we're gonna do our face. So it don't look so, well, so I don't look so pasty. We're gonna first go in with the Pop Beauty Contour 101. They sent me this, it's got a highlight, a blush, and a contour. Up here it tells you where to put them on your face, and all the how-tos. For anybody who is just starting out with contouring and all that jazz, which I thought was super cute, um, but if you were, already know how to contour just grab one that you like I'm not fond of the blush shade it's not a blush I mean I would use that as a blush but today I'm using it as a contour because I use multiple shades to contour because I like powder so I'm using a nice fluffy brush to take that blush shade in first Ooh. just gonna warm up this face cuz you girl looks pale and sickly.
second time using this. These work so well. They blend so well. Next, we're going to go on with Juvia's Place Blush Palette Volume 2. If you guys have not tried Juvia's Place, you had better get on it. Their shadow palettes are all amazing, and so are the blush palettes. We're so purpley today. I think we're going to use this one. So right here, it's called B. But these are so pigmented like the eyeshadows. Go on with a very, very light hand. Today we're going in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Cool Kit and Sweet. And I think we're going to use a mix of the marshmallow and the uh, sassy grape here. Just mix them a little bit together. All right, so here is the finished look. I know I went in and added a few things. I'm so sorry. I went in and added chunky gold glitter from Glitter Addict. I went and did it around. Let's bring you in. Did around the edge of this little cut crease we did, and did it on the end. And then I put on my Giselle lashes from Huddy Beauty. Yeah. Just cell number one if you can see it there. And then I popped a gloss on from Shot Miss A onto my lippy um, trendsetter from Huddy Beauty as well. Just to give it a little extra up because I felt like the brown was just so flat. And I was just like, oh, we got so much sheen and pizzazz and everything. So anyways, this is the finished look today using the new Huda Bladder. Huda Bladder. Bleh. Put a Beauty New Nude Palette. I hope you guys love the tutorial. Um, I would say my final review um, on it is the palette's freaking amazing. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It blends. The textures are amazing. There's a little bit of fallout on it, but on the softer, more blendable um, eyeshadows, we kind of get that, but that's expected. Um, so, but... I would definitely repurchase it. This is freaking amazing. I love this nude palette. It's definitely something different. It's something that's not out there. Um, you're able to get this at Sephora and on Huda's website. It is $65, um, which is a little steep compared to what I normally do. Um, but I think because you get such great matte range, you get two glitters, you get a shimmer, and you get four of those like gemstone-y looking like metal shades that we've used today and I used three different ones in here um it's just a great a really great diverse palette you're really able to even if you want to mix and match it with other palettes you're really able to because those metals are just so amazing um and I, I just love the palette it's worked well for me it's as you can see it's super pigmented it's super blendable it's super buildable um there's just some fallout but that's what happens when you have a softer shadows that do blend so easily and do so well for you. 
Um, so it's up to you what works for you and what doesn't. This is a go-to for me. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to try more from her collection. My lippies are slowly growing. This will be my first big palette from her collection. I have two from her old um, Obsessions collection. I can't wait to get the gemstones because they are so gorgeous. So anyways, thanks so much for hanging out with me, guys. Are you, you are new to my channel. Make sure you subscribe so you're not missing any of the new holiday products that we're going through reviewing doing tutorials with that way you're not not missing out on tips tricks and how to's um and if you want to know any of the products coming out and you really want to know what to buy this holiday season for any makeup guru or lover like me make sure you subscribe so you don't miss them i'm going to do a whole playlist for you guys so that you know where to go to go look and we're not doing just makeup we're going to do some skincare i actually grab some hair products as well we're going to go over stuff that's um, not so expensive as well because nobody wants to break the bank around the holidays. Things it's so expensive so quickly. So make sure you subscribe. If you like this video, learn something new. Make sure you like the video and share it with a friend. Um, and if you guys have any questions with the palette or want to know anything, just make sure you leave a comment down below. Anyways, thanks so much for hanging out with me. And I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye.